Hello and welcome to a second video of today. What is this? Uh, Super Saiyan, you, you've given us a video every day and sometimes even two as I have done the past few days. Well, yeah, that's right. This is the second video today um, and I've just got this in the post. Uh, I think it's the July issue of White Dwarf. It doesn't seem that long ago that we were looking through uh, the June issue of White Dwarf um, and looking at all the new Primaris uh, Space Marines, things like that. Um, and now we, we get July's issue. Stay tuned to the channel tomorrow when there'll be, again, two videos and you get to find out what's in this package. So without further ado, let's unwrap and have a look at uh, July's issue of uh, White Dwarf. Here we go, straight away, we've got the new poster boys, Primaris Space Marines, some Centurions hiding in the back there, even Marnius Kalgar is making an appearance, and look, we've got some Reavers hiding out just here. So yeah, you've got the new captain and the new uh, librarian. This is the front cover. So White Dwarf July, uh, Battle Report, Tau versus Orcs, so completely in the same topic as uh, Space Marines. <laughs> um, paint splatter, so you've got the Space Marines uh, Primaris Librarian uh, and so on. Now, I read a comment today, a very good comment on one of the uh, Warhammer uh, websites um, that basically said they, they put together quite a few excellent points of why they should even have a subscription because there are a lot of painting guides out there. There are you know, video battle reports as opposed to sort of written ones that are in these white dwarfs. There's golden demon entries. There's a lot of this information that you can get for free and the new releases and things like that are also quite out of date uh, now and again. Sometimes they're not though, but you know, there you go. The person did write, raise some uh, good points, but um, but I think this is a definite improvement over, over the, you know, weekly white dwarfs that, uh, that were around. And this is a, a good um, return to form. Anyway, let's have a look. So first strikes and second waves. So new edition of 40k uh, released just a couple of weeks ago. Yep, have you got yours? Have you built all your miniatures? Have you painted all of them? Um, you know, well done if you have. I'd suggest you follow me on Instagram. Um, it's just super underscore saying, and uh, I post loads and loads of pictures and things of my armies, new models, new releases. I put the link in the uh, description. I don't use Facebook much or Twitter, uh, but definitely Instagram. Uh, I post something every day or every other day. Let's return to this. So, new ways to get started. Um, so they're building on the, uh, you know, the Dark Imperium box set that comes with the, the big rule book in there. You've got uh, two, two uh, new box sets here. So you've got No No Fear, um, £50. You can pre-order that uh, from this weekend, from the 8th of July. So £50, what does that get you? It gets you a range ruler, some dice. It gets you five primary space marines, five hell blasters, uh, three inceptors, and the captain. So basically every model that you get in the, the start collecting set, um, minus five more pri primaris, uh, the lieutenants, the ancient, um, and I think you don't get as many, I want to say cultists, I really do, but pox walkers, uh, and you, you don't get the, the noxious blightbringer and the plague caster. I've forgotten the names already. So you get the core rules uh, and the data sheets for them all in one book, it looks like. And you get a two foot by four foot double-sided gaming mat and a cardboard bunker, um, cunningly disguised as the box. So it looks like use your box as part of the scenery. Hmm, that's interesting, especially if the, if the box does get damaged or anything. Uh, but yeah, that's interesting, but I don't know whether you'd, you'd go for that when 45 pound more, you, you get the big rule book and you get more models. And also people that are buying this again, there's no new slightly different models. You know, they're not multi-pose anyway. So unless you wanna just bolster your your, both of your forces with exactly the same looking miniatures. I don't know. Uh, I won't be getting that. I'll, I'll be passing on that one. First strike, however, uh, you've got three new uh, Plague Marines. It looks like they're, they're new. They don't look like they're from the set. Um, the Pox Walkers look new as well. Uh, and this one comes with a two by two uh, gaming mat. 
so both of these are gaming mats um, and then a cardboard terrain piece um, and book lots of backstory apparently so first right read this wow that is a very loud bird um, anyway uh, tips and things like that now uh, an interesting point is um, all of these come with four easy to build uh, sets one two three four so that means the primaris are easy to build the reavers are easy to build and the death guard so the death guard come are easy to build and they're also sort of prepaid prepaid pre uh, sprayed green and the uh primaris are pre pre sprayed blue of course uh, and that set will cost you 25 pounds i'm not sure uh 25 pound for i mean if you're a space moon player it'd be 25 pound for six uh, Primera Space Marines. Again, I'm not that fussed really with that one. Uh, I don't know why they've done this be because in my eyes uh, they've either got the same models or, or a lot easier to build models um, and they don't have any paints or any glue or anything like that so I, I, I question it. You know the Dark Imperium is just such, such a good set anyway. Also they're doing a getting started with Warhammer 40,000 five pound not free or anything like that five pound getting started you pay to get started anyway uh so model of the month one could say games workshop are slightly biased uh but it's 22 pounds 50 for this space marines primaris librarian many people think oh primaris they're brand new there hasn't been enough time for a librarian or a dreadnought well actually sort of the time that this is set is i think 100 or 200 years after um, they've kind of been around, fought a lot of battles and things like that. So yeah, timeline wise, there is. But shockingly for a few people, I don't want to hark on about it, but it's, it is the price. Um, you know, there's a lot of sort of, I say controversy with the Terminator Librarian for £18.50. This is taken up to a whole new level um, for an extra £4 now for a single, a single, single pose miniature, £22.50. Um, that's more than Forge World prices now. And I knew it would happen. Um, and I'm really sort of clenching uh, because it won't be long before we see uh, Primaris Space Marines in a box set. And there could be five of them. And I'm really hoping they're not 30 pounds, but we, we will see. However, the one cool thing about the librarian is you can give them a helmet, which is definitely what I'm gonna do. Um, that just looks so cool. And then the Primaris uh, Captain, also looks very cool. Um, you can have them with this stalker pattern uh, bolter. You can have them with this uh, auto uh, bolt rifle instead. Um, you can even give him, you can even take away his helmet. So there you go. And and again, he's the same price, he's £22.50. Uh, easy to build Primaris Reavers. They're gonna be £10 for three Space Marines. So that would essentially be £20 for six. Because they're easy to build, I don't think there's any sort of uh, customization with these guys I think th those are the poses and that's all you're gonna get which is gonna be quite odd if you want six of them and um, then you've got easy to build Primaris intercessors the thing is the intercessors all the primary space Marines in the main box set are easy to build you know I mean I'd understand it if you had to glue each of the legs together each of the arms together each of the shoulder pauldrons but you don't so, I, I don't know, e either way, easy to build everything and they, they're charging you a sort of full whack for it. Um, more easy to build uh, Plague Marines um, and Pops Walkers. The thing is with the easy to build angle is, I remember when I was a child and for me, Space Marines weren't difficult to build. Maybe if I was sort of six or seven, then yeah, but they weren't difficult to build. Painting, now, now that's a whole other matter. Painting was nigh on impossible. Anyway, I'm going off on tangents. Easy to build Plague Marines, £10 for three. They do look really cool though. Um, and I like that weapon right there, which apparently is a blight launcher. So that's great. Easy to build Pox Walkers. They look pretty funky. Looks very similar than, uh, to the, the box set. Hobby Supply Drop. So now you've got Warhammer 40,000 Essentials. Um, if you're just starting out, you've got cutters, paints, glue and brush, intercessors and paint set. It contains the easy to build intercessors, 
and a paint set, which includes Imperial Primer, which is the black, Blue, Balthazar Gold, Bugman's Glow, Armageddon Dust, and Agrax Earthshade. So you're going to have some very sort of interesting looking Primera Space Marines that have very blinged up uh, bolt rifles, because Balthazar Gold isn't sort of gold. I mean, it sort of work okay with the Agrax, but you really want to be using Retributor. Uh, you really want to be using um, Null Oil for the for the blue. I mean, Armageddon Dust for the base, but then you're not you haven't got anything to paint the base rim if you want to paint it you know you can leave it black but yeah that's odd um the essential set is 20 pounds that seems quite a lot uh the assessors and intercessors and paint set 20 pound again that seems quite a lot then you get a death guard paint set and an ultramarine paint set so they're doing these paint sets there you go you, you get these these paint sets uh, open war cards whatever these are 10 pound three ways to play your games open play and so on the Realms Await, so you've got a Thunder and Blood. This looks pretty nice. Uh, 50 pounds. You, again, they're doing this box set where the box is, is your, your scenery. It doesn't say whether they're easy to build. Anyway, there's that. Then you've got uh, Corgus, Cool and Blood Secretor. They look really cool models, I really like that one. Um, Vandus Hammerhand. He is £25. Oh, both of those are the, uh, in the same pack for £25. See, that's what you want. £25 for two, and that's quite a big piece of plastic there. Um, yeah, Vander's Hammerhand, £25. Not too bad. And then latest from Forge. Well, not really latest. Is you know, this is about a month old. Um, but uh, Magnus Red and uh, Lehman Russ. The £80 Primark. And then you have to pay for the extra sort of massive base. Um, you know, the, the diorama base, obviously. Uh, some books, Resurrection, Farsight, Perturabo, Shroud of Night, and a audio drama. Video game news. So, Warhammer 40,000 Speed Freaks. Vermitide, Drop Assault. Path to Glory, coming soon. Uh, a load of letters from fans nothing really negative of course Temporal Distort Magnus the Red absolutely huge model and they're saying it's miniature of the year creating legends Oh, Space Marines, 30 years of continued development. Look at this. Ah, 30 years of continued development. That'll be worth reading, I think, regarding that. Gilliman. I mean, let's face it, guys. They've, they've totally copied off Game of Thrones, haven't they? <laughs> um, yeah, these look really interesting sort of uh, interviews. Right, Taylor for Warlords. Yeah. Odd Twist, Craftworld Eldar, Astro Militarum, Space Marines, God, Imperial Guard looks so old now, don't they? Space Marines, or obviously now Primaris Space Marines. Horus Heresy, I don't know, that is just incredible how they managed to get that pose. I'd like to know if it's magnetised. Or if it's just one thing. And we've got some Leviathans. Such an amazing looking Dreadnought. So cool. That Night Lord's one. And even the World Eaters. I mean, they both look amazing. I mean, look at that. Look, just look at it. Look at this shine. Just remarkable. Oh, wow. Very nice. Golden Demon. Very incredible. Art of the Wire. Wow. This is a pretense to Orcs being released? I don't know. Tactica Imperialis.
It says here White Dwarf Digital Edition, three ways to buy. One month sub, three month sub, one year sub, and so on. <clears throat> Tale of Badrook's Loot. So this is their battle report. Um, got a load of orcs here. Got some nice flash kits. Some looters. Got some death copters. Battle wagon, I think it is. And a Gorkonorp. And so on. Yeah, it looks alright. Tau, just, oh wow. Just lots and lots of shooty units. So there you go. I won't spoil the battle report. I'll leave it to find out who wins. War in the Shadows. The Unbound Storm. Looks like it's an Age of Sigmar double spread special. Interesting colour scheme, this sort of purple. And that works quite well with the gold, I suppose. And those gemstones look awesome though, don't they? Or crystals, sorry. Yeah, fantastic. Armies on Parade. Armiesonparade.com. And this starts this month. Start your new army today. A new army for a new era. Some old Nurgle models. Some Death Watch, Death Watch Dreadnought. And Paint Splatter. So these are the first strike miniatures and how to paint them. So they're your colours, your black, your Balthazar gold, reavers, and this is your death guard. And then what they've done is they've painted the head completely separate for the librarian. Excellent. Haven't got Fugan Orange, need to get that. <laughs> and uh, Fire Dragon Bright, wow. Goes through all the uh, different types. They even put a wash of um, Drucci Violet. Wow, look how many layers there are, look. All the way up to eight. And then you've got Beard, has four layers. Eyes and Gem have the five layers, lots of layers. Fate of Cornor, Fate of Connor, Fate of Connor, Fate of Conor, Conor, join the global campaign. It starts the 27th of July. Ask staff for details. So there you go, the Fate of Conor, Realms of Battle. There you go. I like that, I like that mix of the sort of Imperial Sector and then just Wasteland. I think that's really cool. Size, whatever size you want them to be, you see? So look, it shows you how to sort of deploy them out. So this is the Armies of Parade. Uh, fit in an area two by two. So you've got your two by two square. There you go. Panchitsu. With some gene stealer cults. Mephiston, well, Mephiston type model. Look at that highlighting and things, that's definitely airbrushed. And then with a non ready Excelsior. That fire prism looks amazing. Yeah, look at the blotched effects. Remarkable. Very clean looking Wraith Fighter. The 
Readers models. Those custodies look good. Yeah, I like the red on the shoulder pauldrons. I might have to do that. Wow, oh, that's incredible. Look at that. That looks immense. Look at that holding a Mark IV Space Marine. Look at that. Amazing. And there we go. So next month, Index Astartes. So could that be the Codex? Could it be the Codex Index Astartes? Or is it just looking at the Index Astartes? Um, Ultimate Guide, Paint Splatter and so on. And that will be on sale Friday the 4th of August. So that's great. So it's getting sort of earlier and earlier uh, in a way because this, this one there wasn't much time between the last two. So that is my look at this 148, 149-page um, White Dwarf magazine, the July edition. I have to say that it is smaller than last month's uh, by a good sort of eight pages or so. Anyway, thanks ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.